Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to show you how to install a fight electric dimmer switch in a three-way circuit. So I picked up this fight electric smart dimmer switch at Costco, and you probably have seen some of these before. It looks kind of like this. They also have this on Amazon, and it's in a two-pack. So what we're going to do today is we're going to install this smart dimmer on one side of this three-way circuit, and it will still function as a three-way smart switch. So you're gonna be able to control this from your phone. You'll also be able to control it with Google Home or Alexa if you have a compatible smart voice assistant. So this is a Wi-Fi smart dimmer that's gonna let you control it from your phone, and we're installing it in a three-way configuration. But before we get started installing it in a three-way circuit, I just wanna show you what we have going on for this existing three-way switch. So what we've got here is our wiring diagram for our three-way switch circuit. Currently, we've got one switch here. It's got the hot coming in. We have two traveler wires indicated with the dashed lines, and those go over to our typical three-way switch. And then we have our line switch or hot switch going from the other end of the three-way switch up to what was the load wire on the existing light fixture and then the neutral coming back down to the electrical panel. So that is the current configuration of our three-way switch wiring. And here's our light fixture here that is indicated at the top of the drawing. Now there are two options for installing a three-way fight smart dimmer switch. And we're gonna be going with the first option here, and we're gonna have a video on the other option that you can do. The first option uses one smart dimmer switch, and then just a standard three-way switch, or you can even use a single pole switch for the other light switch. But since we already have a three-way switch installed, we're going to use that. Now, the second option allows you to use two smart dimmer switches, the fight smart dimmer switches, on each side of the three-way switch, and you just install one in each existing junction box. Now, the advantage of this second option is that it's going to allow you to control the dimming from both devices. With the first option that we're gonna show you today, you'll be able to control dimming from the switch with the smart dimmer switch on it, and from the other switch, you'll be able to turn it off. However, you will still be able to turn on and off the light fixture with either light switch, and you'll be able to control the light fixture from your phone remotely or with Alexa or Google Home voice commands from this smart dimmer switch as long as it's connected to Wi-Fi, regardless of what the status of the light switch is. So when we do this, there's just a couple changes that we're going to make. We've got our smart dimmer switch over here where we're going to install it on this existing switch. And then we have our existing three-way switch over here, which is indicated by this switch. Now, what we need to do is down here at the bottom of each switch, we're going to make this ACL terminal a hot terminal on each terminal. So on our three-way switch, we're gonna connect it directly to the hot, and on the three-way dimmer switch from Fight, the smart one, we're gonna connect it to the ACL, which just stands for AC line or AC hot terminal. So unlike a traditional three-way switch, both of these switches will have a direct connection to the hot wire so that they will work. Now, it's a little bit different where we have the Traveler connected. The Traveler will connect to a Traveler terminal, the YLRD terminal, on the three-way smart dimmer switch from Fight, and then it just connects to the T2 terminal or Traveler terminal 2 here on the existing three-way switch. And then the T1 terminal or Traveler 1 terminal that we had is no longer used on the existing three-way light switch over here. We're just going to cap it off in this junction box and it's not gonna be connected to anything. Now this fight smart switch does require a neutral wire. So what we're going to need to do is make sure that we have a neutral connection from the light fixture going all the way back to the electrical circuit panel over here 
but we also need to make sure that we have a connection for the neutral wire from the light switch itself back to the electrical panel. So we want to make sure we have the neutrals connected here. Then we've got a load wire, so we're just going to connect the load wire straight from the light switch up to the light fixture. Now we also will connect the ground terminals as required per code. Always check per your local jurisdiction or code how that ground wire should be grounded or connected. However, for simplifying the number of lines on the drawing, I did not show it here. However, you should connect the ground per code in your local area. So now let's get started installing this Fight Smart Dimmer Switch in a three-way configuration. So the first thing that we need to do is cut off the power at the circuit breaker to this device. So what I always do first is turn on the light fixture and light switch so that you have power to the fixture and you know it's on. Then go down to your circuit breaker and turn off the circuit breaker for this circuit. That way, when the power is off and the light fixture is no longer on, you're going to know that you got the right circuit and the power has been cut off. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. All right, we've got the power cut off. This light switch no longer works. This other light switch no longer works. So we're ready to go ahead and start working on this. First thing that we're going to need to do is remove the existing cover plate. Now that we have the cover plate removed, it's always a good idea to use a non-contact voltage meter and just check to make sure that the power is off once again. So we've got our non-contact voltage meter here and we're not getting any sounds or any readings. Let's take it over to the other side. Let's see if we get any readings or sounds. We do not, so we know that this is safe for us to start working on. Now, it should be noted that the three-way switch that I am working on is the three-way switch that has the load wire in it and the incoming hot wire. So you want to make sure that you're in the correct circuit box. So you want to make sure that you're in the correct switch box when you do this so you have the correct wiring in here to get the three-way switch connected. Now there are other ways that three-way switches can be wired and so for a lot of people it may be a different configuration but this particular switch configuration for a three-way switch is fairly common and that is what we are using today for replacing this existing light switch with a three-way smart dimmer switch. So let's go ahead and remove the two screws holding the switch onto the junction box. Now let's pull the light switch forward from the junction box so we can gain access to the wiring. Let's remove the electrical tape from the light switch so that we can get the access we need for each one of these wires. So now before you go any further, it's a good idea to take a picture of your existing wiring and just try and understand how you are going to wire up the new smart dimmer switch with your existing wiring. So take a picture so you know where all the existing wires went and then let's just go through what we're going to do here. So on this side of the three-way switch, I've got a traveler wire. This traveler wire is going to be reused. What we've got here is a diagram, and this is the traveler wire that we are going to reuse right here, this red one. And we're going to put it on the new YL or RD traveler terminal on the new Fight Electric smart switch. So you can see on the back here, there are letters that show you what each terminal is. That's that YLRD terminal. Up above it is the load terminal. And then over here, what we have at the top is a ground terminal. We have a neutral wire terminal. And then we have our ACL or AC hot terminal is what that stands for. So what we're going to do is we're gonna remove that red wire right here and we're going to reuse it on the traveler terminal or yellow red terminal on the new smart dimmer switch the ground wire we're going to connect to the ground lug on the new smart dimmer switch and then let's flip over here to this side so now what we've got here is our incoming hot wire so this is the hot wire that came directly from the electrical circuit so we're going to wire up that hot wire directly to the ACL terminal or hot terminal on the new smart dimmer switch. But what we need to also make sure that we do is that our hot wire 
goes from this ACL terminal or from a collection of hot wires within this existing electrical box over to the ACL terminal or the hot terminal on the existing three-way switch. So that is already wired up. That wire is already there. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit so you can see the rest of this three-way smart dimmer switch diagram. What we've got here is this hot wire here that we're talking about. We actually already have a hot wire that we can use. It just is currently connected to the load switch here. So what we're going to do in this existing wiring diagram is disconnect this load wire here in this line hot switched wire that was connected to the black terminal over here on our three-way switch. And we're just gonna take that and we're going to connect it down here or right here as it's shown in this diagram to the hot or line wire. So you wanna have hot or line going to the black terminal over here on the existing three-way switch and the ACL or hot terminal on the new three-way switch. So we don't necessarily need to even open this switch to make any adjustments. However, it's always a good idea to take the cover plate off and just confirm the wiring and how this three-way switch was wired. However, I already know how this is wired because I did this three-way switch wiring and it is exactly per this wiring diagram that we have right here. Now, the next wire that we've got in here is our white wire. That's this one up here. And this is just going to be capped and disconnected because we no longer need this wire. This is the Traveler 1 terminal that is over here on this three-way switch wiring diagram. So we're just gonna cap that off and leave it in the junction box. Now let's see if we can get a good view of the load wire and the incoming hot wire from our existing three-way switch. So what we've got here is our load wire that goes up to our existing light fixture. And on the other side of this wire now, what we have is the line hot or line switched from the three-way switch. So we're going to go ahead and just disconnect these two wires and we need to pay attention to what we're doing with them. And it's always a good idea to mark the wires if you have any doubts of where they are going to go. So what we're going to do is we're gonna have that load wire connected to the load terminal. And then what we need to do with the hot or line switched is make this a hot wire just like we showed in that wiring diagram. So we're going to need to connect it in some way to this hot wire down here once we disconnect it from the light switch. Now let's go ahead and disconnect all of the other wires from this existing light switch. So now that I've got everything disconnected, I'm just gonna pull out some of these wires so that we can gain better access and understand where each wire is going and how it's connected. Now what we've got here is all of our wires in a little bit easier to read configuration. Here's our bundle of neutral wires. Here's our bundle of hot wires or incoming hot wires. Here's our two traveler wires. Here's our line switched or line hot wire from the existing three-way switch. And here is the load wire up here that goes to this light fixture. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is make my neutral wire connection. We already have this bundle of neutral wires here that connect to this existing light fixture. Rather than splice into these, all I'm going to do is add another neutral wire connector to this light switch. So I'm just going to undo this wire nut here, add this wire in and wire that up to the neutral wire terminal on the new fight three-way smart dimmer switch. So let's go ahead and remove the wire nut. We get all of our neutral wires bundled together, including our new neutral wire extension. And then we're going to put the wire nut on and connect these. Now we've got our bundle of hot wires over here and we have this black wire coming from the three-way switch over here, which was our line switched or line hot from the three-way switch. 
we're just going to take this existing wire and connect it to the bundle of hot wires here. And since we already have a extension from the hot wire, we're just gonna connect that on the line terminal or the hot terminal on the smart three-way switch. Let's go ahead and remove the wire nut and then connect the line switched wire from the other three-way switch. Get the wires bundled together and then install the wire nut. On our wiring diagram, we have now connected these wires together, the hot line wires, and it goes over now to the three-way switch over here. Now we've also connected the neutral wires together and all we're gonna need to do is now land the hot and neutral terminals on the switch. So now we're ready to land all the wires on the terminals that they belong on because we've gotten everything disconnected and then everything that needed to be reconnected in the circuit reconnected. So we're going to cap off the unused extra traveler wire here with a wire nut and then we're gonna wire all these up onto the terminals for the three-way smart switch. So let's go ahead and cap this existing traveler wire, the white wire that's designated as a traveler with the piece of electrical tape here. Go ahead and cap that wire off with a wire nut. Now we're ready to get started wiring everything up. So the first wire that I'm going to wire up is going to be my hot wire, which is indicated on the back here as ACL right here. So AC line wire. So I'm just going to take this wire and I'm going to slide it onto the terminal. Then I'm going to secure the wire to the terminal. Now I'm going to take my neutral wire and secure it to the terminal on the three-way switch. Then I'll take my ground wire here and secure it to the ground wire terminal on the top of the switch. So you can see what we've got is our AC neutral, our ground wire terminal, and our hot wire terminal that we've connected so far. Now the remaining two terminals on our top terminal, we're going to place the load wire, which is this one that goes up to the light fixture. And on the bottom terminal, we're going to place this traveler wire down here. So let's go ahead. We're gonna get that load wire connected. So let's go ahead and secure the load wire terminal. Now all that we have left is our traveler wire and we need to connect it to the traveler terminal over here. Now we secure the traveler terminal. Now we've got all of our wires connected so let's go ahead and fold them back into the junction box. Now, before we put the light switch back into the junction box, it's always a good idea to take some electrical tape and cover up the terminals on both sides of the light switch just to prevent anything from touching those terminals or creating any shorts. So let's go ahead, we're gonna cover up both sides, just take a wrap or two around this light switch and then we will be done with this electrical tape. Now we're ready to put the light switch back into the junction box. Now that we've got the light switch installed, we're ready to put the cover plate back on. Now that we've got everything wired up and the cover plates reinstalled, we're ready to go ahead and restore the power at the circuit breaker, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. All right, now we've got the power restored to these light switches, and you can see that we can turn it on or off from either one of these light switches. So I can tap here on the smart dimmer, or I can turn it on over here from the other standard switch. Now, I'm also going to be able to dim this from this switch over here, so I can dim down and I can dim up on the smart light bulb. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn this off for right now. 
Now we have another video that shows you how to set up one of these fight electric dimmers on your Wi-Fi network. It's the exact same operation for a three-way switch or a standard switch that's just controlling one set of light fixtures from one location. Now there also is another video that we have that I will include in the links below. If you plan on installing the three-way dimmer, in a two smart fight dimmer configuration. So what we did here was this option one where we had one standard three-way switch and we had one smart three-way dimmer. Over here, we have the wiring diagram in configuration where you would have two smart fight three-way dimmer switches. So we'll include a link below to how you wire up this option in the description. Thank you for watching this video. Please give us that thumbs up, subscribe, and click any of the links below if you want to support us. 